Welcome to today's lesson where we will dive into creative problem solving to help you solve difficult problems. As part of my quality problem solving video series, I encourage you to check out my previous videos on defining the problem and using critical thinking to solve it. Find the link below. In this video, we will explore the four key stages of creative problem solving, which is clarify, ideate, develop, and implement. Get ready to expand your problem solving skills and take them to the next level. When a conventional approach of problem solving fail, we will need to find a more innovative approach which is to think outside of a box. In order to be creative, we will need to separate our brains into divergent and convergent thinking. Let's go through what is divergent and also convergent. Divergent is more creative in the sense that they will generate ideas endlessly free flow and also seek a diverse point of view and suspend judgment whether the idea will work or not. Whereas convergent is more realistic that you give the correct answer yes or no and organize ideas into different teams, different category and summarizing all key points and decide what points should be used and exercising the judgment on the point that is to be used. Let's go through the creative problem solving guideline. The first is balance divergent with convergent. Means that you start with divergent and to come up with a free flow of idea without judgment and followed by the convergent of evaluating and organizing all those ideas. Second is frame problem as open-ended questions with multiple possibilities. Each of these open-ended questions will generate further ideas. The example of first question will only have one right answer. Five times five is equals to ten. The second question should have multiple possibilities of what are the two numbers to add up become 10. So the answer could be the same, which is 10, but the question is framed differently to unlock a range of possible solution. The third one will be suspend judgment, where in early stage of brainstorming, we must hold back criticism of ideas that do not work. Later on, we will set appropriate time to analyze it. Different judgment is actually not the same as no judgment. It's just that it's not the time yet to have judgment. And finally, focus on yes rather than no or but. That means no negative language which allow expansion and continuation. There are also four stages in creative problem solving, which starts with clarifications, ideate, develop, and finally implement. We shall go through them one by one. If you find this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel for more valuable insights and updates in manufacturing supplier quality hacks to achieve consistently good quality products by subscribing you will be the first to know when i post new content in clarify is actually same as the seven steps where first of all you have to define the problem or clarify the problem using questioning techniques either the whys or the whys or the five the four w's and one h such as who else is involved or who found the problem what is the problem or 
the description of the problem or your influence on the situation and when did it happen or become a challenge and why this situation become a challenge and how does the challenges or the problem makes you feel idiot is more like creative process of generating and developing and also communicating new ideas so in order to do this we must form the idea through a mind like a children because our mind tends to be like falling cabinets of using what was done before and this will inhibit creativity and finally we will need to communicate new ideas and the third one is developed so this stage is about formulating solutions or action plans focusing on all the possible options and come up with solutions analyze those potential solutions to meet your needs and decide if you can implement them successfully this is when we use the judgment to check whether is it possible or realistic to implement and which idea can be enhanced and the next steps is that now that what we see ourselves doing in the future the last step is on implementation where we formulate a plan to make the solution into reality by a list of action plans and once we have that we will need to identify resources execute the action plan and also communicate plans to all stakeholders and management to get the support ensure that they understand accept it and finally get the support to implement it accordingly so this is an example of application of creative problem solving there is customers complaint on magnetic storage drive which unable to eject this tape unlock your potential as an expert in leading eight d tips to solve quality issues by enrolling in this expert in 8d problem solving course this comprehensive course will equip you with the expertise in all 8d phases enabling you to effectively lead cross-functional teams and contribute to each phase with confidence with real life examples you will gain an in-depth understanding of the dynamics behind each phase and be able to apply them to solve complex problems it's impress interviewers with your knowledge by using our case studies to answer questions that how do you use how do you use 8d to solve a quality issue enroll now and become a problem solving pro to advance in your career the situation is that nobody can really find a root cause between the four walls of a manufacturing entity that means the four walls of manufacturing is really a box so we have to really think outside of a box and look at beyond the manufacturing entity is it the logistic or the transportation or the distribution of customers could have caused this problem and eventually through a thorough investigation imagination and also brainstorming of trying to understand customers usage environment it was found that this customer has used very strong radio frequency emitting devices that have caused the sensor to be malfunctioned therefore the tapes cannot be eject sometimes we really have to apply creative problem solving within the critical thinking steps in order to solve the problem just to recap what we have learned is that sometimes conventional thinking can really leave us wondering 
what is happening and do not have a solution that really address the problem. And we will need that creative thinking to experience the aha moment, okay? And separate diversion, which is more creative part of free-flowing free ideas from convergent thinking of stopping the idea from coming up because we tend to judge and organize the idea and learn how to use this both divergent and convergent parts that is in our brain. Creative problem solving model is really a perfect tool to achieve this kind of separation of divergent and convergent thinking. Thanks for tuning into today's video. If you are ready to take your problem solving skills to the next level and become an expert in 8D problem solving, then don't miss out on my course. You will gain the expertise needed to lead cross-functional teams through each phase of 8D with real life examples to help you apply these skills in your work. Share this video with anyone who wants to improve their problem-solving skills and take charge of their career.